What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on with another video dealing with factoring by decomposition. We gotta factor these quadratics over here. So we're moving on with the case where the A value is not gonna be one. Now in the previous video, the case we dealt with was where the B value was positive and the C value was positive. Well now notice that the B value is negative for all these and the C value is positive, except for this last one, but we're gonna be factoring out a negative anyway for the last one because the leading coefficient is negative, and so it's gonna change that B value to be negative and then that C value to be positive. Right, so same exact process as before. Let's write out this first quadratic that we have. Now, first thing we always check for, can we take out a greatest common factor? And notice that we can't in this case. So if we go into the decomposition, A value is four, the B value is negative 13, the C value is three. Next step, we get the AC value, which is three times four, which would be 12. And so now we gotta find two numbers that multiply to positive 12 and add up to that B value of negative 13. And what would those two numbers be? It would be negative 12 negative one, negative 12, negative one like that. Okay, so what we do now is we take those two numbers and that's what we're gonna decompose the B value with. So we're gonna have four X squared minus 12 X minus one X plus three like that. Then we factor by grouping from these two, we could take out a four from the four and the 12 and we could also take out an X. So we'd be left with X minus three. Then notice here we got negative one X plus three, can't take anything else. So because there's just a negative one here, we would take the negative one out. And what would that change this to? It would be X minus three, right? Notice how we have negative X plus three. And then if we take this negative one, we redistribute it in the bracket, we'd have negative X plus three. If we take this negative one and multiply it inside. Okay, so from here, this, binomial common factor we could take out, and then what would we be left with? 4x minus one like that. Okay, these brackets, as I've mentioned countless times before, should always be the same. It's a nice check within the decomposition process. Right, so this factors into this, and then I'm not, I won't do it for the other ones, but if you do wanna check your answer, you can just expand this. Right, and then make sure that, these are like terms, make sure that you get that original expression and notice that we do when we expand it. So that's a nice way to check your answer. All right, so this first one here, it factors into four X minus one times X minus three, right? And also notice when the A value is one, we were able to do the shortcut where we would get the factors right from there, X minus 12, X minus one. But notice that we can't do that in this case. Notice how these factors and these factors are totally different. So it doesn't work when that A value is not one. So then you gotta go through that whole process. All right, so that is uh, part A. Let's move on to Part B, so we got uh, 6x squared minus 19x plus 14. First thing we check for, can we take anything out between the 6, 19, and the 14? We can't, so let's go into decomposition. A is 6, the B value is negative 19, the C value is 14. What's the AC value gonna be? Uh, 14 times 6 gives us 84, and we got a find two numbers that multiply to that 84, add up to that B value of negative 19 like that. And the two numbers would be um, negative 12 and negative seven. Right, I think that works. Yes, it does work. Right? Negative 12 times negative seven is positive 84 negative 12 plus negative seven is like negative 12 minus seven, which gives us negative 19. Whenever you're searching two numbers that multiply to a positive value and add up to a negative one, the two numbers are gonna be negative, these two numbers that you get over here. So that's 
going to be the common pattern with all of these where that B value is negative and then that C value is positive. Okay, so these two numbers, we would decompose this middle portion like that. From these two, we could take out a 6x, so we'd be left with x minus 2. And then from these two, we could take out, well, there's a negative here, so we're definitely going to take out a negative number. And then between 7 and 14, we could take out a 7. So we'd be left with x. 14 divided by negative 7 is negative 2. As expected, these brackets should be the same. Take that bracket out and we're left with 6x minus 7 like that. So this here factors into x minus 2, 6x minus 7. If you want to check your answer, you could expand it. Make sure you get that original expression. Moving on to part uh, C, so we got 3x squared minus 5x plus 3. First thing we check, can we take anything out? Close, right? We got a 3 and a 3 here, but this 5 doesn't have a factor of 3, so we can't take anything out in terms of the numbers. So let's go into the decomposition. AC is 9. Two numbers that multiply to 9 add up to negative 5, and nothing actually works here, right? Negative 3 and negative 3 is close, but these add up to negative 6. They don't add up to negative 5, okay? So there's actually no two numbers here that would work, that would satisfy both of these conditions. And so what that means is that this quadratic here it's actually not possible to factor. Moving on to part D here, we got 45x squared minus 48x plus 12. So first thing we always check for, can we factor anything out initially? And notice that we can in this case, between 45, 48, and 12, we can actually take out a three. And so what we'd be left with is 15x squared minus 16x plus four, like that. And so now what we could do is we can work with this remaining quadratic on the side. And let's see if we can factor this quadratic over here. So by decomposition, A is 15, the B value is negative 16, C value is positive four. So what's the AC value gonna be? 15 times four which would give us 60. So we've got to find two numbers that multiply to 60 and then add up to that B value of negative 16, like that. So what would those two numbers be? It would be negative 10, negative six, negative 10, negative six work. So then we take those two numbers, decompose that B value, 15X squared minus 10X minus 6X plus four. Then from these two, we could take out a 5x, and we'd be left with 3x minus 2. And then from these two, there's a negative here, so we've got to take out a negative value between 6 and 4. We could take out uh, a 2, right? So we'd be left with 3x minus 2 over here. Negative 6x divided by negative 2 is positive 3x. 4 divided by negative 2 gives us negative 2. So then we could take out a 3x minus 2 and we'd be left with a 5x minus 2, right? So this bracket here factors into those two, but don't forget we took out that 3 initially, and so the final factored form for this would be this over here, right? Don't forget any greatest common factors that you take out. Moving on to part E, negative um, 32x squared plus 32x minus 6. So as I mentioned in previous examples, when that leading coefficient is negative, I definitely like to take out a negative 1 at least to put that uh, or make that leading coefficient positive. But let's see if we could take anything else out. Notice 32, 32, and 6. They're all even numbers, so we could definitely take out a two, can't take out a three, can't take out a six, so two 
we could take out from all these. So we would actually take out a negative two from all these. So now here, be careful with the signs. If we divide all of these by negative two, what would we be left with in the bracket? We'd have 16x squared minus 16x plus three, like that, right? All of the signs change. And now let's see if we can factor this quadratic by itself with decomposition. It's not always gonna be possible. Sometimes this quadratic that's remaining you won't be able to factor, and so this would be the final answer. However, in this particular case, I think this will factor, but uh, let's see. So those are the A, B, and C values, and then the A, C value would be three times 16, which would give us 48. So two numbers, are there two numbers that multiply to 48 and add up to negative 16? And the two numbers would be negative 12, negative four. All right, so then we could decompose that B value, negative 12X minus four X plus three. From these two, we could take out between 16 and 12, we could take out a four, and then we could also take out an X. When we divide both of these by four X, we'd end up with four X minus three like that. And then over here, there's a negative. So we're definitely gonna take out a negative value. And then between four and three, no common factor there. So when there is no common factor that you could take out, you just take out a negative one. And if I take out negative one from both of these, we end up with four X minus three. As expected, the bracket should be the same. We can take that bracket out and we're left with four X minus one. Okay, so this bracket factors into those two brackets. So we end up with negative two, four X minus three, four X minus one. So that ends up being the final answer. All right, so always check for a greatest common factor that you could take out and then see if any remaining quadratics factor by decomposition. Right, so, so far we've covered where the B value is positive, the C value is positive. In the previous video, in this video, we covered the B value being negative, the C value being positive. Now in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're going to cover a mix of these, right? So the B value could be positive or negative, C value can be positive or negative.